My newest act, if I had to have a description for it, is you remember when Houdini put on the handcuffs and went into the water? And remember how it worked a lot? Remember the one time it didn't work and that's the last time Houdini performed? That's tonight's show for me. I'm late in the game Houdini of comedy. <laughs> No, but I, and, and I mean to be a little more forward about that. I do kill myself at the end of the show. <laughs> That's why it's called Only. It's like, well, it's only tonight. There's no shows after this one. <laughs> Just, I'm still doing Everclear pretty hard. <laughs> the band and the liquor. I'm still riding the Everclear train. This is one of those shows, is anyone in here in the band ever clear? <laughs> That's the kind of dumb, stupid thing that happens at a show in LA. We'll like get off stage and be like, the lead singer from Everclear was there tonight. And you don't even know how to feel about that. You're like, oh! That's cool. <laughs> I recently uh, did dip back into some Everclear. <laughs> Just fucking listen. Can you guys listen for a little bit? Tonight isn't about getting laughs. It's about me not being able to afford legitimate therapy. Okay, that's what it's about. Do I wish that my medical coverage through SAG-AFTRA covered therapy? Yes. Am I exhausted at paying full price, but then later submitting a super bill to get back very little of what I thought I'd get? Yes. Am I continuing to go? No. I realized I'm already in a profession where I could do the same thing, but actually make money doing it. So anyways, I recently dipped back into Everclear. Yeah, you thought it was a... <laughs> nothing! That got nothing! She just said so much for the afterglow. And no one laughed. I'm with you. I'm not joking. I'm with you. So, so much for the after. As soon as I said this, I can't believe that did not get a fucking laugh. I said I'm done with the therapy, and she said so much for the afterglow. The timing of that could not be better. It honestly makes me worried about anything I talk about the rest of the night. I truly think it's not me and her against all of you. That was perfect timing. So much for the afterglow. Good for you. What are you drinking? Lebowski. Lebowski. Is it free? Due to this guy. Did you buy it? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Who is in your group? Is it just the three of you? And you're sitting so much lower. <laughs> The, fa you're, the height that you're sitting. Like, I know you're on a stool, and I know it's all happenstance, but the fact that I'm like talking to them, and we just pan up to way too high. And they're like, did you buy the drink? And it's just like, I did. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we brought our lumberjack friend. He buys all the drinks. So. <laughs> do you want to, do you have, do you want more of one? That afterglow thing's getting a drink. You don't want to drink? Right, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, you, dude. <laughs> She does want to drink. She's drinking this one. Actually. Well, then what would she like to drink? I can talk code. I know what code is. I can talk bro code. What do you want to drink? It was, this is some kind of mule. Are you, cute, are you cool giving him your free drink? No. <laughs> If this whole thing isn't a metaphor for what we're kind of going through as a society right now, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. I also don't necessarily know what a metaphor is. I don't know. If that's not a metaphor, I don't know what one is. And also, side note, I don't know what one is. What, 
you tell me when you want a drink and we'll fucking make it happen. Uh, you will get that fucking drink. I mean, I'm gonna obviously, obviously get the drink. <laughs> but when you're ready, you let me know. Chime in at any point to say, give me my fucking drink. <laughs> now, do you guys remember that song, Father of Mine? <laughs> Clap if at any point in your life, and just, can we please be honest in here? I'm having to be honest. I can't fucking hide. <laughs> Let's all just be honest people tonight. And it starts with fucking you admitting you stole that fan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop attacking you. You know! You know where you got that! Who here liked that song, Father of Mine, by Everclear? Just a bit, quick. I'm so tired of this fucking city having to try to be cool. Let's just be fucking real. Everyone in here loved that song. We all jerked off to it, right? 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 It's a weirdly choreographed dance to start. Right? Father of Mine. So weird, I can't believe I put all my chips on that. I can't believe I fucking put every chip on. I bet we've all jerked off the father. So weird. So weird that I was willing to put myself out there like that. To zero return. You know that line where he says, uh, I was a scared white boy in a yes. black neighborhood? When you were in high school and you listened to that song, you didn't even think about that line. I recently dipped back into Everclear and I was like, I don't think I'm okay with that anymore. <laughs> I'm not who I used to be. The fuck's your problem, Everclear? <laughs> Anyways, I'm kind of putting this tour together to uh, see if it ever times out that the lead singer comes to one of my shows. <laughs> so I can confront him about what is just a true story for him. <laughs> but deeply offensive for me. I don't know, I guess that's what art is, really. It's, you know, who lacks what, and what's real, and what's not real. I don't know if y'all know this. Did anybody see that Ready Player One movie? <laughs> not real. Not real. It's like, say that. Say that during the opening credits. Say that. Say that. Say that. I might have just discovered my new favorite character. <laughs> That, just that, whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. Say that. What is it? S-Town. S-Town? Is it that, which character in s -town? The guy? Is he? <laughs> what? John B. John B. was the main guy, right? They killed him? Did he talk like that? God, no joke. I, here's the thing. I, I don't think I sound like him, but make no mistake. I would love to know that I sounded exactly like him. So if you think that, then I'll go forward. Confidence-wise, <laughs> I took my husband, we went out the other night, we went to go see, um, what's the other movie that's out? Name one other movie that's out. Ant-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Who else said Ant-Man just now? Did you? You said it at the same time he said it. And you know what? Why did everyone respond to that? And not her! Why not her, too? I was at... I was at a show the other night, and two guys said Ant-Man at the same time. And I was like, can y'all, or do y'all have that, like, telepathy? I went up to him after the show, I said, do y'all have telepathy? And they said, we don't. And I go, then maybe tell me about that. <laughs> maybe, maybe let people know that. <laughs> because I went all the rest of my night thinking that. So I, oh, oh, I, I stopped thinking about, about perverted stuff. Serious question, have you ever thought of something perverted and then wondered if someone around you is a mind reader? <laughs> Yeah, right? Right? And you can and then as soon as you think it, you then can't you go so dark and deep into like crazy sexual images. Right? 
You know him, right? I know that you know him. And you're like, fuck, stop thinking about that. And you just think someone's like, you know, in New York, I would do it all the time on the subway. I would like look up, and if anyone was like looking at me, I'm like, they know!